Welcome to Empire Brothers Rampant, and welcome to a new installation guide I wanted to showcase, where I'm going to be starting a new campaign in the Last Kingdom mod for Medieval 2. So I want to just showcase the installation guide for this. It's a pretty simple process, but I need to get better about making sure I'm showcasing these for any mods I'm actually playing. So I'm going to be using the uh, link that's in the description from ModDB for where I am grabbing the, inf uh, the information and install um, data from, where I'm going to be using the Last Kingdom Reforged point, uh, version 4.9, which this is supposed to be a version that is based on Mr. Nigrant's uh, Last Kingdom Wrath of Norseman overhaul, um, which I need to try the Warcraft mod that he was doing a while ago. It's been updated recently, supposedly. But we're going to be using this one. I have already downloaded and made this into a nice little location where I will have the information where we need. So specifically, we need to download this Last Kingdom Reforged.zip file. After you are able to download it, you're going to want to try and extract it. I have already done this, as it's a massive file and actually takes a little while. Um, so you just need to use whatever sort of extraction uh, sort of software you're using. 7-Zip is always really great because it can be used for several many things. Um, once you have that, this is actually the very easy part, where now that you have that um, out of the way, you just need to take this file and just shove it on in into the Medieval 2 folder. So right here, right there. Just move it on over. Once that's moved on over, it will then be playable. Um, I'm going to double check. Uh, I have my own way that I usually run these mods. Wrong mod. Um, that I usually run these mods. But, and, but I'll try and double check and showcase that you guys can run it from here without that. I think it should just be the execute bat file. Let's see if that's going to work. It should work. If not, then I can just showcase the Med2 mod launcher, which is what I always use to launch my games. Because it's a lot easier to showcase. Um, and there, yeah, it worked. Uh, a lot easier to just use with when you have so many mods like I do. But this is then going to open up. I'll now be able to actually properly showcase uh, and do my faction vote for this. So this is a very simple installation guide, but I always like trying to make these installation guides just in case um, as a way to try and... I like the intro they've got here. Um to try and uh, have a nice place where we can kind of collect all this information together um, on if anybody's having any sort of issues with the mod installation guide we can all talk in the description figuring out what's going wrong and certain things that might help in your endeavors to get the mods working it's also great just to be able to try i like the, i like this more oh this is pretty swift, but i do like the i like the intro i think i'm gonna like this mod i think i'm gonna like this mod. Oh, wait, no, this actually... Oh, I don't think this is just from the uh, Kingdoms expansion stuff. No, this is, they actually made this themselves. Cool. Okay, I'm going to skip this because I'll save that for you guys to watch yourself. But that is now up and running. So you now have the game, got the game running, uh, Grand Campaign. I now have to figure out who the fuck I'm going to want to play. That's going to be fun. Um, but now that we have the game uh, operational and it is working, I just wanted to go over a couple of minor little things just in case um, you guys are having issues. Because some things that are brought up in the installation guide around here is... Oh, actually, I should remember to do this. Um, it is recommended that uh, the map dot uh, wrm is deleted in the data worlds maps base folder. So let's go do that. Because let's see, so they said... So let's see, so data, world at the bottom, maps, and then base, and this file right here. So it's recommended that you should delete this file. Um, other than that, uh, it's also recommended that you utilize the 4 gigabyte patch on your um, .exe file for the game, base game, if you have not already done so. I do not think this one, oh, is it maybe an optional files? No, it's not. I'm curious what those are about, though, actually. Um, but if you guys have not uh, applied it before, um, I know I'm just going to use a demonstration with a different mod because I know they have uh, the ins uh, the 4 gigabyte patcher in here in the Elder Scrolls Total War mod, but you can find it elsewhere. But if you have not already done this before with modding for Medieval 2, what you need to do is you'll find the 4 gigabyte patcher. You will then need to select your exe files for Medieval 2. I have a Kingdoms EXE file here as well, because for some mods you need a uh, Kingdoms EXE file technically because of how old the mods are for how they operate. A lot uh, a lot, a lot of newer mods you really don't usually need that, so I just have it just in case. It doesn't really matter, it's a small enough file. But you'll just select this file, patch it, and then that should hopefully help reduce uh, crashes for the mods that you are playing. Uh, I do not believe they have anything else 
that they recommend for this. It just now has a list of changes. There's a lot of changes. I have never played this mod actually before, so this will be interesting for me to see um, how this is going to feel. But there's a lot here. But uh, that is now it for this installation guide. Again, if there are any, if there's any other questions you guys have about the installation about this, feel free to leave those comments down below. If you guys are having any issues, I might have an idea of what's going on and or other people that have installed this mod before or have uh, experienced have, have experience with it might have an insight as to why it is not working for you guys. But I believe this is where I'm going to be done for today. Again, if you guys appreciated this, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, I'm excited that I'm going to be starting this campaign soon in this mod. I have to figure out who the hell I'm going to play now. Um, that will be on my community tab, a faction pull for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this installation guide and you're interested in checking out that campaign of mine. But this is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.